Hi, it's Adam here for Metal Wani and I'm here with Barry from Shinedown. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, hello, hello. How are you, sir? I am fantastic. Uh, and welcome to what we officially call Ozzy Osbourne Day. How pleased are you to be sharing the stage with this legend? Well, he's a legend, so I'm very pleased to be sharing the stage with him and having the spot that we have be just before Maryland and Ozzy is uh, it's really cool for us you know, to, to grow in as many years as we've been coming to this festival to have such a great slot. We're, we're very excited. It's an exciting time for you guys. Yeah. First, congratulations on what is simply an explosive album, Attention, Attention. Thank you. Uh, which was just released back in May. Uh, uh -huh. You must be terribly proud of it. We're extremely proud and, and still kind of seeing how it's doing because it's so new and fresh for us. You know, we, We're still learning how to play some of the songs off the record live. You know, um, We're very excited and, and the momentum has been really good for us. So. Uh, all we can do is look forward, onward, and upward. We're having a great time. Super. Uh, can you tell us a, a little bit about the album, how you guys put this together, and sure. where it was written and so on? You know, it was written a little differently this time. Uh, Eric kind of started the whole thing. He was right. He uh, was bored on the road, basically, on the last cycle of touring. He said, you know what? I've got to do something, otherwise I'm going to go crazy. And he just started writing songs every day, and he was or pieces even. So every day he'd write a piece of something, and he was just stockpiling stuff. And then, so it started to come together, and then songs started to come together. And I think out of those, the only one that really we ended up using was Brilliant, but it started that train of thought. And then we just started writing and went into it pretty fast. You know, we finished touring off of Threat to Survival, and I went immediately from there into the studio to record the first four songs that we recorded for the record in at Los Angeles. And then we decided Eric was going to be the producer of the record, and we realized it was going to be a concept or a story record of, of you know, a person or a thing. And it basically encapsulates the last four years of our lives put onto one person. And that's the story of the record. Um, so it, it happened real naturally. And having Eric produce it, there was a different level of, of care taken on the record. And then he ended up mixing it as well. So it's really... Um, we're really proud of him, but it's also a child of his, and, and I think it's one of our best records to date, and you can feel the vibe on it that this was something special, and having Eric do it, he is a producer, that's how we met him, was as a producer before he was our bass player, um, so it gave him that chance to do that, and it's uh, it's just a, a special time for us. It's a very, uh, I was going to say, it's a very deep, it feels a very emotional and deep from the heart kind yeah. of album. Yeah. Would that be a correct statement? Absolutely. It's very honest. And like I said before, it's about the four of us in the past four years of our lives. And it's a concept in that we took all of our emotions and things we've gone through and put them onto this one character. You hear the character walk into the room, sit down, you know, close the door, sit down, take a deep breath, and then devil kicks in. It's going from that rock bottom hell moment and dealing with yourself to the end where you get to brilliant and going you know what I just got to go off and be the best I can there's still going to always be those little demons on my shoulder but I got to put them off to the side and keep moving and that really encapsulates not only Eric's uh, you know it's no secret he has depression issues and has gone through a lot of that and then Brent also has his addictions and then myself and Zach having to deal with that with those guys not understanding but trying to be helpful for our brothers it's kind of what the story the story is about. It is difficult being on the outside of depression. It is from from a look outside looking into that person because you want to do the best for them. Yeah, and you can't help them. No, no, you can't, and they have to help themselves, and that's what this record is about. Recently, saw your documentary on the making of the album, mm -hmm. quite revealing in terms of emotional attachments to the songs, and you use the phrase quite a bit, labor of love. How important is you that your music is just that, a labor of love? It has to be. You have to be honest in your music, and if you're just doing it to put a record out, then the fans are going to know. They're going to hear it in the record. They really are, and I've heard that in records where I've been very disappointed in the band because you can tell they just put stuff out there. Um, we, Shine Down can't, can't do that. We write from the heart, and we write true stories. Um, that's the only way we know how to write, so it's important, but it is laborious. It is difficult. Making a record is not... Making a good record of what we think is a good record isn't for the faint of heart. It's, it's work. It just doesn't come out of thin air. you got to put in the time and the hours and the struggle, and some days are better than others. The emotional energy. Yeah. It, it really, once that record's finally done and you turn it into the label and go, we're done, it's the biggest weight off your shoulders because you're like, oh, now all I have to do is go play these live. That's the fun part. Do you think that's therapy in itself to do that part, that, that handing over? Absolutely. And releasing. Maybe it's kind of like a piece of therapy. Absolutely. And I think it really was this time for Eric and Brent because they were very honest on the record, lyrically and, and what they talked about. And I think for them being able to talk about it to everyone really helps them. And it helps Zach and myself too because we're able to say, yeah, this is true. This is the story of our lives and be able to uh, share it with the fans. And a lot of fans come up to us and thank you because they're dealing with those issues too. And it maybe helps them get through those issues. And that's, that's really important to us. It seems so. 
you're taking this show on the road to Europe, Canada and America. Do you guys thrive on touring? Is that the best part of what you do? Do you love spending time with your fans? Absolutely. I love it. I love touring. Uh, this band's known for touring for long, long stretches at a time. You know, we'll tour a good two to two and a half years on a record, no problem. And that's constantly on the road, maybe a couple months off here and there. Um, we love to tour and love to meet with our fans. We spend time with our fans. We never go, ah, oh, we don't have time for you. Um, I'll sit and talk with anybody and sign an autograph because if it wasn't for those fans, we wouldn't get to do what we do. So without them, what's the point? So absolutely. Absolutely. It's very important to spend time with people. And uh, we, I was talking about it off, off, off piece a few moments ago with somebody else, that it's it's important to pay these things forward to other people. Sure, good, absolutely. You know, good karma deserves good karma. Absolutely, and, and what's what's that five, ten minutes out of your time? I mean, really, it, it, to give them, I wish I would have been able to speak to my idols that I grew up with, you know, and gone, thank you, if anything, just thanks for your music, I appreciate it. Um, you know, back then, <laughs> not that I'm that old, but I'm old enough, you didn't have as much access as you do now to uh, your bands. Social media plays yeah, an enormous part. it does. So we try to make an extra effort because gone is the mystery of rock and roll. But what is ha cool about it is now that the mystery is gone, you have more of a one-on-one -on -one connection with your fans. Barry, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. My pleasure. You're thank a you. lovely man. Oh, thank you. And uh, I hope uh, things go really well with this album. I'm sure thank it you. will because it's a great I hope album. So. I hope so. We'll continue to work hard. So. Superb. Thank you very much on behalf of Metal Warning. Anytime. Pleasure. Anytime. Thank you.